Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Good. Well, how about this? SEMA. I mean, what a special event. I saw Carol Shelby, Parnelli Jones, Bob Tasker the Thirds here, Bo Bachman from Galpin. I mean, this is a real homecoming for Ford. And uh, frankly, I've missed this event for the last three years, and I'm so happy to be back and to be representing Ford and to make some pretty big announcements today, uh, which we'll be doing. First, we're going to make some announcements on Fiesta Racing and some performance packages. That's going to be done by the director of Ford North America Motorsports, Jamie Allison. We're also going to be talking about the focus racing teams around the world, really making an effort to bring our racing uh, with one voice around the world. And Focus is going to be the poster child for that. And I'm, we're going to be joined in a minute by the director of Global Performance Vehicles and Motorsports Business Development, Yost Capito. And uh, he's a great guy. We're also going to be joined by some of our wonderful drivers, Ken Block, Tanner Faust, Vaughn Gittin Jr. Now I have to say, it is so nice to be here at SEMA representing Ford. For so many years, I looked up at this blue area with awe. This is an American icon, a company that so many people are in love with, and so much is going right with that beautiful blue oval these days. We're finally building a great lineup that Americans love. Frankly, the freshest lineup we've ever had. We are absolutely deadly focused on our one Ford plan and delivering great products, a strong business that every customer will respect the way we do business, and a better world with new technologies like EcoBoost. As a sales guy, I'm really happy to see our sales numbers grow. And it's thanks to our great dealers, our great marketing, and our great products. And the reason is because we're building products that people really want. And it's kind of tough to do, but it's easy to say. Products with world-class quality, great new green technology, great safety, and more and more importantly, smart new technology. Making technology affordable to everyone. And a lot of the best that we have to offer in cars, utility, and trucks is right here at SEMA. And the ultimate expression of what Ford is at the DNA level is here in the stand. Customized Fords. We don't build refrigerators. We build cars that people love. And for us, that's what it's all about. We've always embraced the aftermarket. Because we know the aftermarket can help us build passion around our products. Yeah, we've always led the industry with our cooperation with the aftermarket. And it really helps everyone. Some of our partners have accessories out before our products are even launched. And that's fantastic for our brand loyalty. But that's not enough. Our commitment is to the actual end customers. We want our products to be customizable, whether we do it or the aftermarket does. And we offer customized accessories on every one of our Ford and Lincoln products. But we don't stop there. As a Ford enthusiast myself, I am really glad we also offer a whole host of restoration parts. From full bodies and Mustangs, which you can see here, and Broncos, they all demonstrate the same thing about Ford. We're enthusiasts. We build great products that people really want, and we're not going to stop. So I hope you really understand the vision we have for the company because it's not just Mustangs and trucks, it's also Fiestas and small cars. We want to compete and win in the marketplace with the best in the world from around the globe in small cars here in America. And our new global small car business is about to make a big change with the new focus in quarter one of next year. When you look at the Fiesta and the Focus and all the different versions of Focus that we'll have, all the good stuff from Europe is going to be sold here in the U.S., it's going to be a really exciting time. And that's perfect for us to rethink our racing strategy and our performance uh, strategy. What I mean by that is we really need more alignment between engineering and our racing efforts. And that's a big deal. Just a few weeks ago in Paris, we launched the new Focus ST. It is awesome. 
It's got a two liter EcoBoost engine, almost 300 foot pounds of torque. It is an incredible car. And it's not just gonna be sold in Europe. Every American consumer could buy it. We're gonna bring it to the US, throughout Asia. That's the great, great idea behind One Ford, is to bring an engineering and the racing community together to make products that people love. And now I'd like to transition over to our racing efforts and introduce the director of Ford North America Motorsports, Jamie Allison. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. I'm very excited to be here. This is an annual ritual for me. I'm going on 10 years. It's very invigorating to be here at SEMA. I tell you, as I look across the Ford display and see all the tricked up cars and trucks that we have, it really shows the evidence that we at Ford are building some really exciting cars and trucks. And these are great times at Ford Motor Company, and especially great times in motorsports. And I'd like to tell you about some of the stuff that's going on at Ford Racing. But I'd like to also introduce you to some of our new drivers who are, can help tell that message. You can't talk about Ford Racing without talking about Mustang. And in 2010, you can't talk about Mustang without talking about my man, Vaughn Gittin Jr., the 2010 Formula Drift Champion. <laughs> on the track, dominating year. Six podiums out of seven events, two wins, and of course, the championship. Off the track, that man is a fan favorite, and he's the face of drifting. So, uh, Vaughn, why don't you tell us a little bit about your season and the car you drive? Yeah, it's been, uh, well, an uh, incredible year for us in the Monster Energy Falcon Tire Mustang. It's, uh, you know, we won the championship. It's been a dream of mine for the seven years that, that Formula D has been going on here in the States. And for us to, you know, to go through the trials and tribulations of learning every year and, and constantly getting better, working on myself internally, you know, with the help of Ford Racing and, and Falcon Tire with the, you know, our, our competition Mustang, it's uh, just been incredible. And, you know, our sport's doing incredible. And for us to go out and win the championship this year, you know, and winning anything in 2010 is, is crazy, you know, especially at a pro level. And winning the drifting championship is incredibly nuts as the, the competition is. It just uh, it feels really good to be to be uh, to have held that trophy up at the end of the year. So, you know, it's uh, also incredible. You know, the Mustang that we use is basically I have a street Mustang, a 2011 5.0, and I go out and do the, the have the same fun, a little bit toned down, but the same fun in, in my street car as I do on the track. And it's pretty incredible for the be able to build a, a car that can handle the abuse that uh, I put it through. So hats off to everybody at Ford for building some awesome products and uh, that new five liter is uh, unbelievable. So uh, thanks a lot, Jamie. Well, thank you, Vaughn. Have a great season next year. Thank you all. But Mustang really isn't the only fast Ford we have in our garage. We are racing. I'm actually looking at the trends going on in Europe and Ford Racing has been affiliated with some of the most iconic rally cars ever built around the world. And you can't talk about rallying without talking about another man, Ken Block. Ken, come and join me. So five wins of Rally America, the first American in almost 20 years to earn some points in WRC, and of course the man who's known for something called Jim Connor. <laughs> um, you are redefining what it is to be fun to drive. You've told me that the Fiesta is the ultimate Jim Connor car. Can you share with us why? Yeah, well, I was very lucky this year to uh, have the opportunity to build a new Jim Connor car from the ground up, and my partnership with Ford was just a great example of uh, a way to bring a great product like uh, the Fiesta into a program like mine and, and develop something really sort of revolutionary for uh, that type of driving. So, you know, the car that we were able to put together uh, in combination with obviously with Ford Racing and the Ellsbergs team out of Sweden has just been an incredible piece of machinery for me to go out and do what I love to do. Outstanding. Thank you, Ken, and good luck to you uh, next year with us. All right.
So next up is one of the most gifted drivers in the sport, uh, my friend Tanner Faust. Tanner? Uh, Two-time drifting champion, five medals, three golds, obviously the last two golds in a Fiesta, uh, and the new host of Top Gear. You've told me that the Fiesta is one angry little beast that you're trying to control. Tell us what you mean by that. It, it is, you know, it's it's kind of a, a strange car to drive, the, the Rallycross uh, Rockstar Fiesta. It's, um, I've been lucky and driven a lot of cars and gotten to drive a lot of exotics and things like that. And uh, most cars, when you drive them hard, you're really kind of working to, to push them and to, uh, to, to work the car to, to go faster. With the, the Rockstar Fiesta, I don't know if it's, it's the short wheelbase and just how nimble the car naturally is, but it is a violent experience. It's, you know, 0 to 60 in 2.2 seconds and uh, 600 horsepower all-wheel drive car. It really is like sitting on a wild animal, kind of, and trying to calm the car down. It's, uh, it's really been uh, an amazing thing in my career to, to drive that. It's most definitely the fastest car I've ever driven. All right, Tanner, before you go, i got to tell you, I know you don't walk around with your gold medal. But I do. <laughs> and really, I mean, all kidding aside, uh, this gold medal is a reminder for all of us at Ford Motor Company that uh, what we can do with the credibility and the agility of that little car we call the Fiesta and what it's able to accomplish in the hands of Tanner and, of course, Ken Block. So thank you for all you do, and thank I'm you, keeping this because I need it to look cool. Got your bling now, right on. I got hardware now. <laughs> Well, uh, we all live in a world of YouTube where the kids want to emulate their heroes. Their heroes are here, and we at Ford Racing make those dreams come true. So today, uh, we are announcing the new Fiesta R2 Rally Pack. Uh, the Rally Pack comes to us from our relationship with M Sport. M Sport is the official WRC team for Ford Motor Company. This package, as you can see up on top, it's got a, a host of uh, modifications, including a engine uh, performance upgrade, taking the 1.6 liter up to 168 horsepower, uh, five-speed sequential transmission, and adjustable dampers, and the list goes on and on, including a roll cage. This is a serious kit, and that kit, the R2 package kit, requires that it be installed by a certified installer. And none better to install that kit from a stock Fiesta to an R2 Fiesta is the man, uh, Tim O'Neill. Where are you, Tim? Raise your hand, thank you. Tim O'Neill is from the Team O'Neill Rally School. Uh, Team O'Neill now has 43 Fiestas, and that's the place to go and learn how to rally with the new kit. Great picture, I was there. I took the two-day course in about four hours, so uh, I'm ready to go rally. Um, but I tell you, uh, once you built the car with the R2 package, once you've gone to the school and learned how to drive, now all you gotta do is go race it. So we are adding a spec class in Rally America focused around the R2 package, and the winner of that class gets an automatic invitation to the WRC in Great Britain. I tell you, no one can match that opportunity. So we got great, great excitement going on in Fiesta. But, in conclusion, our, our theme here at SEMA is Extraordinary Vehicles for Everyone. 